So some of you might recognize that mountain. It's kind of famous here in the Northwest. That's Mount Rainier behind me. Uh, today I'm on the Stampede Trail. Uh, this connects, uh, I guess, it'd be Greenwater Highway 410 to uh, I-90. Uh, today I am coming that direction, so I'm coming from Greenwater and I'm going up to I-90. Uh, this is for all my subscribers who I've been neglecting who actually subscribe for Ranger content. Uh, I'm taking the Ranger through here today. Uh, almost a, exactly a year ago I took uh, the XT250, my motorcycle, through this area. Um, and I want to try something different. So today I'm in the Ranger. Um, and it's just me. So I'm just out here enjoying Sunday. It's pretty nice. I'm trying out a new microphone. Sorry if it's kind of low, I'll adjust for that. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, uh, comment. That all really helps a lot. Um, it helps my channel grow and I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So that'd be great if you could do that. Um, yeah, so I'll cut to the beginning of this uh, trail. Right now I'm, I'm probably about a quarter of the way in. Um, but this is a nice little lookout, so I decided to take a break, film this intro, and then I'll meet you at the beginning. Whoa! So I'm usually a little bit too lazy to air down, but this is kind of a longer drive today, so I took the time to air down to around 20. So that's done and we'll, I guess we'll get going now. So we're finally getting to like the first couple of lookouts. Uh, I don't know, we're probably about five miles in. Uh, one thing I will say is I'm always a little bit lazy, like I mentioned, to air down, but it's definitely worth it. Like it's night and day when you air down, uh, the ride quality when you're off-road. Um, handling's easier, uh, it's just overall a better ride quality. Uh, I also wanna say so far I've only been in two-wheel drive. Um, I think you could probably get through most of this in two-wheel drive. I'll give a better update towards the end of the um, the trail, but so far I haven't needed four-wheel drive. They're up there. It's been a little bit rocky, but um, it's been fine, even with a little bit of slippage. So, all right, this is the first, I guess, little checkpoint after airing down. It's a nice day today, kind of hot though. But, all right. So I want to do a quick thing, I guess, is like Steven's thoughts on the mountain. Um, 
I started shooting this uh, video today using only 50 millimeter. Uh, sorry for the wind. I'm hoping this windsock helps. But yeah, I was trying to only use a 50 millimeter lens on this camera. Um, lately, I've been trying to get more towards, I guess, putting self limits on myself when I'm developing content. Um, I found just over the years that when there's like these self-imposed limits, you kind of end up with a more creative product and it just ends up being more interesting and you start developing your own style. Um, so, but I had to switch out because these trails are a little too narrow, so I had to switch out to the wider lens. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of photography gear. I have drones, I have GoPros, different cameras. Um, and I just found out that trying to integrate all those into my videos actually ends up like uh, making the quality a little bit worse just because it's not this um, cohesive thing with its own kind of like um, consistent pattern that goes throughout. Uh, so you'll notice my future videos and things, you might uh, see different things I'm testing out. Um, that's kind of the reason. I've also been reading a bit about um, Ansel Adams. If You probably know him, he's a, he's a famous um, uh, wildlife, not wildlife, but um, a photographer of the American West. Uh, he rose to fame taking pictures of Yosemite, um, just uh, parks, national parks um, in the western United States. Uh, and part of his uh, style was he had this like very strict uh, set of guidelines for his uh, photos. Um, I think it was the F64 club that they created. It was just a group. These people had like a very um, kind of like a manifest, manifesto, yeah, of um, this, just these like kind of strict rules that they uh, they followed when they were taking pictures. And it was in contrast to um, what was popular at the time when they developed this, which was kind of these artsy where you're trying to take pictures, they imitate um, paintings and more traditional art forms. Um, so they kind of brought photography, I guess, I wouldn't say to the next level, but they grew it just by uh, identifying it as its own art form, not necessarily something that is just kind of uh, trying to imitate um, the older arts. So I just bring that up because he's a famous photographer, he had his own style, and he imposed these like strict limits on himself. Um, so yeah, kind of what we're doing today is I'm, I'm also trying to use two-wheel drive on this, uh, on this uh, trail today. Um, I don't need to, I have four-wheel drive, I have uh, rear lockers, um, there's a bunch of different drive modes and things like that, but it made the drive a little bit more interesting today, just going in two-wheel drive. So that's kind of the, the mountain thought of the day from Steven. Uh, sorry if that wasn't super... Um, easy to follow but it's just random thoughts as I'm driving up here alone tonight as I'm driving up here alone today so um, thanks for listening to my rant we'll continue on this drive I think we're about halfway now maybe a little bit more than that uh, so far it's been a really nice drive and I'm enjoying it uh, I couldn't really ask for more in terms of uh, weather or the lack of people surprisingly uh, coming up 410 it was packed um, I haven't seen so many people on that road before but when I got up here there's nothing even the shooting pit near um, beginning of the trail was empty which is odd especially for a weekend so let's get going look at these views I really beat up Yeah, it gets super narrow on this side. Uh, we're on the I-90 side of the Stampede Pass. Now we've been going downhill for a while, but if you care about your pain, I'd probably recommend not coming on this trail just because, I mean, my truck's already scratched up, but I'm getting a lot of uh, branches rubbing against the truck. Uh, also, clearance is more of an issue on this side. There's a lot bigger ruts, um, as you can tell from the camera, bouncing around. Um, but so far we've been fine. I think we'll be fine. I don't remember when I went on this my motorcycle being that bad. Uh, it's been a year though, things change on these roads. Uh, uh, yeah, I think we're getting close. Probably about two thirds of the way through now. Uh, let me check the map. I'm using Gaia. I'm not super happy with how it works on the... Yeah, we're fine here. Let me turn here. Not super happy with how it works on the car player integration, but... I'll do another video on that if people are interested in that. So, uh, all right.
Sorry, excuse the wind. We just got through. Uh, the I-90 is about probably like a half mile that way, so we're pretty much done with the trail. Um, it's really windy through here, so I'm gonna get a good test of this uh, new microphone setup. But that's it. I made it through with two-wheel drive. Um, it handled well, everything did great. Highly recommend airing down. Um, I really should do that more often, and it worked out well this time. Uh, I used the Bayer 88P to fill it back up. Um, this is only like the second time, second or third time I've used it, and it worked great. Uh, I filled up the tires fairly fast. It took me about five minutes, uh, maybe 10 minutes to air back up. Um, biggest problem is it gets really hot, so I couldn't pack it back up right away after uh, I was done using it. So it's in the back seat of my truck, cooling down, and I'm gonna pack it up, put it in the back. Uh, just a side note, I have the Gator. It's, uh, I forgot what it is, I'll put a link in the description. The Gator uh, cover, it's from Amazon. Uh, that's on the back, a ton of dust got in the back of my truck. So the back of my truck is full of dirt right now. It looked like the dust got in, but couldn't get back out. So it was serving kind of like a dust trap. So that's one downside of that. For some reason, water doesn't get in, but dust seemed to find its way into that, uh, that cover. So uh, sorry if I'm yelling, it's really windy. Um, but yeah, it was a great trip. I had a good time. Um, like I said before, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, uh, and hopefully I'll be able to do more Ranger videos and other videos uh, kind of getting out here on these uh, trails. Oh, there's a bald eagle flying over. Cool. Sorry, you can't see that, but I can see it and I'm, on, I'm enjoying it. So, um, yeah, that's it for today. I'm gonna head back to Seattle. I think I left my house around two o'clock to me about an hour to get out here, so three. I guess all in all, it was about three hours through the, um, the pass. Uh, I stopped a lot to film. I was going back and forth a lot. So you could probably make it back in, or make it through in two hours uh, if you were just kind of rushing through. Um, oh, one quick note. If you're doing two wheel drive, it, I think it's definitely possible. I did it, of course, from the Greenwater to I-90 way. Um, I don't know if it would be possible going from I-90 to 410. It's a lot steeper going up that way. It was really rocky. Um, I was going down, so the two wheel drive was an issue. But if you're trying to get up that with the ruts and the rocks and the loose gravel and stuff, uh, it's kind of pushing it. I don't know if uh, I would recommend trying to go up uh, from I-90 to uh, 410 uh, just given uh, how sketchy it is. But I would say the main thing is clearance. You could probably make it through here with any uh, modern SUV or truck with um, uh, enough uh, ground clearance. Uh, I would say eight or nine inches is uh, more than enough as long as you're careful about choosing your lines. Um, but yeah, remember, two-wheel drive only come from uh, Greenwater to I-90 or 410 to I-90. Um, but yeah, it was definitely doable. I'm sure it would have done even better if I was using four-wheel drive and all the traction control and the fancy uh, driving modes and everything like that, but um, it was more enjoyable this way, trying to kind of push in, see what this can do in kind of the, the lowest form. So, all right, thanks for watching. Uh, have a good July.